yeah, that right there is a shit that'll make your ears bleed. And not only is it the stream that the FBI listens to, it's the one they masturbate to as well. You know that it's Friday and it's time for the hacker news. Good Lord. All kinds of stuff to tell you about. Skip through a few things here. Uh, permanent reverse TCP backdoor for iPhone and iPad. Facebook source code hacker now is telling his story and explains what really happened, or in his version anyway. 36 web domain C's tied to online financial fraud. O'Day remote password reset vulnerability in MSN, and, uh, MSN Hotmail has been patched. And penetration testers get ready. Backbox Linux 2.05 has been released. And now, some of the heavy stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Chinese hackers are continuing to attack the Philippine government. And then other stuff that we're going to dig into. Uh, more than 10,000 or 100,000 regular, uh, rather, wireless routers have a default back door. Recent reported flaw that allowed an attacker to drastically reduce the number of attempts needed to guess the W. PS pin of a wireless router isn't necessary for some Arcadian based routers anymore. Last year it was exposed that the Wi Fi protected setup pin is susceptible to a brute force attack, a design flaw that exists in the WPS specification for the pin auth authentication significantly reduces the time required to brute force the entire pin because it allows an attacker to know when the first half of the eight digit pin is correct. The lack of a proper lockout policy after a certain number of failed attempts to guess the pin on many wireless routers makes this brute force attack that much more feasible. Uh, some 100,000 routers of type Speedport, W921V, W504V, and W723V are affected in Germany alone. What makes things worse is the fact that in order to exploit the back door, no button has to be pushed on the device itself, and on some of the affected routers, the back door pin is still working even after the WPS has been disabled by the user. The only currently known remedy for those models is to disable Wi-Fi altogether. Since the Arcadian routers share the same software platform, more models might be affected. Last year, Technical Network Solutions developed and released Reaver, which is a WPA attack tool that exploits a protocol design flaw and Wi-Fi protected setup. Reaver has been designed to be a robust and practical attack against WPS and has been tested against a wide variety of access points and WPS implementations. On average, Reaver will recover the target AP's plan text WPA, WPA2 passphrase in 4 to 10 hours depending on the AP and Iran preparing for a cyber war against the United States the security professionals in both the United States government and the private industry have been feared uh, the prospect of a cyber war with China or Russia two states capable of launching destructive attacks on the computer network that control critical assets such as the power grid or the financial system but Iran is recruiting a hacker army to target the US power grid water systems and other vital infrastructure for cyber attack in a future confrontation with the United States security specialist will warn Congress yesterday so they were warning Congress yesterday if Iran is willing to blow up a Washington restaurant and kill innocent Americans we would be naive to think Iran would never conduct a cyber attack against the United States homeland said the counterterrorism intelligence subcommittee chairman Pat Meehan but the sheep have to remember that uh, they want you to live in fear. Fear of this. Fear of the hackers. Fear of anonymous. Fear of all this bullshit. Don't fear anything. God himself. That's all you gotta fear. And last but not least, 10 Lebanese government websites taken down by a hacktivist group. Several Le Lebanese ministry websites were the target of a hack attack Thursday by the group Raise Your Voice and the second such attack on government related portholes this month. That's outstanding. The hackers are running wild and now we're going to wrap up the day with a word from our sponsor. Operation Defense Phase 2 engaged. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. 
we do not forget. Supporters of Cisco, you should have expected us. And I expect you to have a great weekend. Big shout out and much love to everybody over at HacksRadio.com. Mr. E, keep it low, play it safe, be good. I'll see you again on Monday.